So I have a question for you in today's video. How important is the spring game coming up this Friday for the Miami Hurricanes? Does it really even matter? I mean, of course it matters, right? A few moments later. <sighs> well, we're playing ourselves, so it, it, it's not that important, is it? 12 seconds later. But it's gotta mean something. 328 a.m. I mean, yeah, it definitely matters. Two hours later. It has to matter. You know what? Let's just talk about it in this video and see if we can figure this out. What's going on, Canes fans? Now, before we hop into today's topic, I do just want to remind you that I will be live for the spring game happening this Friday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And of course, it will be right here on the Coach Coop YouTube channel. And it's a really cool way for those of us who can't make it to the game in person to react and just watch the spring game, discuss what we see, talk about what we liked, what we didn't like, and probably, you know, argue and complain because that's what we do but it'll be a really good time and i think that we will enjoy ourselves so friday night spring game 7 30 p.m eastern time be here on the coach coop youtube channel let's just have some fun so today's topic is definitely a loaded question right is the spring game important and does it really even matter i'm gonna go ahead and just give my opinion right out of the gate and then we'll dive deeper and I'll give some reasons and we'll talk about this thing. And that'll give you some time to form your opinion and type it down in the comment section below. So I really feel like the spring game at the end of the day is a fan first event. In my opinion, the coaches and players could benefit just as much from a closed scrimmage. However... I do feel like the spring game is still important. One of the biggest reasons I feel like it does matter is because it's an opportunity to show upcoming recruits and the current players how excited the fans are and that we're here to support them and cheer them on. And of course, every year you see schools take that opportunity to post the attendance numbers on social media, on Twitter and on Facebook. And they kind of take that and flex a little bit, right? You know, they, they put the post up, the picture of the stands and, you know, pictures with the fans and probably with Sebastian and the players and coaches. And they say, look at this. Look how excited the fans are for the upcoming season. So attendance at the spring game is, in fact, a pretty big deal. But I'm going to be honest, other than that, and this might be an unpopular opinion, we'll see once you guys leave some comments. I think that's really about it when it comes to the importance of the actual spring game itself. Because what I think is funny is there are a lot of fans out there that will form their opinion on what the season is going to be purely based off of the performance at the spring game, which is just absolutely crazy to me because you have to remember that in the spring game there's no like adjustments or or big halftime adjustments that they make uh, at times things are going to be situational so it's not a traditional scoring system there are even going to be some teams i don't know if miami's going to do that this season that don't allow contact when it comes to specific players especially the quarterback so with that being said, there's really no reason to overthink the spring game or to freak out. We're not going to show all of our cards. We're not going to go all out. You know, it's again, in my opinion, it's a fan first event to generate some hype. Now, there are some players that benefit from the spring game, especially young players, you know, or players that have been injured. And this is their opportunity to kind of jump back into things and to do it in front of uh, a crowd right you know it's going to vary in sizes from school to school but there is going to be some crowd noise but as i said before you could pump in fake crowd noise and probably benefit just as much from a closed scrimmage you could literally do the exact same thing and there's really not necessarily when it comes to the players the coaches the season any added benefit by having a crowd there and and calling it a spring game just my opinion, not downplaying the spring game. I love it, and it, it's part of college football and will always be around. It, it will always be a thing. It's just how things are. 
but some people put too much importance on it. I will say, however, that I do hope Dawson decides to draw up some deep plays because after what us Miami fans went through last season when it comes to play calling on the offensive side of the ball, we need something to hype us up for the 2023 season. And, you know, if we're actually going vertical, throwing the ball downfield, I think that will put a smile on many Canes fans' faces. So, Dawson, help us out, bro. But, you know, going back to what I just previously said, it's not a bad thing that that's really all the spring game is because I don't think that it necessarily needs to be anything more than a fan first event to generate some excitement and give the young players an opportunity to play in front of a somewhat small crowd because there's been a a question or a debate i can't remember which coach coach said this it might have been scott frost don't quote me on that but there was some coach that brought up recently that he thinks they should push for spring games to be played against actual opponents and to treat it like a uh, you know, more of a traditional game. And, you know, I remember back whenever I played high school football, that's what we did. When we did our spring game, a uh, team would actually travel to us or we would travel to them or it would be at one specific field and they would have multiple teams and we would play another actual team. And, you know, maybe there is an argument there, but... <sighs> In my opinion, I think this is overall just a bad idea for multiple reasons. First off would be injuries. I think that, that you're way more likely to see injuries when you're playing an actual opponent. And, you know, I understand that a lot of these players, when we're playing each other, are going to be giving it 100% because coaches are going to go back and look at the tape and view the effort and technique and various different things. But there's still probably a much higher chance for injuries if you're playing an actual opponent. And that is a, a coaching staff's worst nightmare. And fans as well, right? Because you do not want to see injuries in the spring game. That's just absolute worst case scenario. And honestly, if you even want to just discuss the logistics side of it, you know, packing up equipment and, you know, potentially traveling, I guess it could be just close schools. But again, there's just, there's way too much that would need to go into it. And I just don't think at the end of the day, it's worth it in any sort of capacity, right? Financially, not really worth it for the development of the, the players. Uh, I think the way that they do it right now is just fine, and I don't see any reason to change it. And again, I'm, I'm never going to downplay the importance of a spring game because some people are going to try to twist my words. But I'm just saying I think that some people either like to pretend it's more important than it actually is, or they just want it to be, or maybe they just look too much into it. And again, we're, we'll break it down. We'll nitpick it. There'll be a lot of things we complain about and a lot of things that we like, you know, and don't like. But I think it's okay to just view it as it's just a, a, a fun spring game, an opportunity to see the guys suit up in the orange and green. We all get together, we cheer, and it's the last little bit of football we get to see until fall camp and then the actual season begins. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Is my opinion just complete trash? I am so wrong and you can't believe that I said that about the spring game. Or do you actually agree with me? Maybe I'm not in the minority when it comes to the spring game. Either way, I'm very excited to see the Canes take the field and you know get a sneak peek anyways at possibly what Shannon Dawson's offense can be and what Lance Guidry's defense can be. So let me know what you guys think down below. I'm mostly just praying that there are zero injuries. And yes, I'm I'm talking about Don Chaney Jr. here, all right? Because I'm going to make a case here for possibly him jumping and becoming RB number one if he can stay healthy this season. Hate me if you want, but we're going to talk about it in the coming weeks. And also... You know, I, I just really hope that Dawson dials up some some deep plays and we can go vertical and we can let TVD sling it, maybe Jakari, maybe even Emory Williams. You know, he's he'll probably get some reps, see what he can do. Uh, so it should be a, a really good, fun time. It's awesome that so many Canes fans are trying to push to make it to the game. I would love to be there if I could, but we'll be here virtually hanging out on the channel and discussing it. And having a good time so don't be scared to comment down below 
Remember, though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family, but at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see you all in the next one.